Luke, it's been a few weeks since we stood you in Hland RC talking, welcoming you to the Ospreys. It's gone pretty well in that time since then, is it better than you probably could have imagined? Um, yeah, let's be honest, it's gone uh, a little bit better than what I thought. It's come, come quicker than what I thought as well. Um, but yeah, I got given that chance to get some months there and I felt like I took it with both hands and um, been rewarded for that. So um, but I've been enjoying every minute of it, to be honest. So I think what you've done is you've shown that that finishing skills that you've got from sevens and the ability to step a man can be equally effective in the 15 aside side game. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, obviously there's a lot more less space than um, in the sevens game. But yeah, like I've, I've been showing so what I can do out there and um, hopefully ticking boxes and uh, doing, doing some good stuff. I know that you are physical, but you got little and large, almost you and George on the two wings. It's a, it's a good contrast that actually provides different options out in the field at different times of the game. Yeah, exactly. Like you have got myself on on one wing, and then someone like, like George on the other wing. So, um, yeah, I mean, and he, he can suck in so many defenders and stuff like that. So, it kind of takes their, uh, the the eye off me, and then I'll try and uh, d- ding through the defence. So, um, so yeah, I mean, kind of that we got some like obviously George on the other wing, and uh, he's been he's been doing his, his stuff. So, and you generally. Match day aside, you're generally enjoying being part of the environment and probably relearning the 15 aside game after so many years away from it and being part of an Osprey squad, working with like Matt Sherrick, Brad Davis, Sean Edwards, Alan Clark, to developing yourself as a person and a player. Yeah, exactly. The, the names you mentioned there, it's, it's great to be in this squad and, and having those experienced players bringing you through and giving you tips, and especially like George herself, he's constantly on my back and me tips, so like stuff like that. So to have those experienced players in, and, and coaching staff giving you those, that helping hand is, is tremendous for us. What kind of feedback you get at the moment after two tries in three games? Uh, yeah, I think it's just just from uh, what Jock has been saying, just back myself and uh, my, to me, like, you know, I'm, I'm used to beating defenders and stuff like that, so I think it's just taking that confidence into every game and just trying to prove what I can do. This weekend's a different kind of challenge. We're going to park a Scarlet. The local rivalry speaks for itself against a team who haven't lost at home in the league for two years and they're back-to-back finalists, European semi-finalists. It's quite a challenge going there. Yeah, I think it'd be a very tough tough challenge. I think it's local derby. I think everything could go out the window sometimes. Um, but yeah, I think like we've got a lot, lot to prove and um, we can show what we can do in the past few games. And uh, if we take that into this weekend, then I'm sure we could uh, come away with a W. i say four wins from five going into the game. On paper, that's a great season. Perhaps not firing on all cylinders, but wouldn't be a what better time to actually put the full game together for 80 minutes. Yeah, exactly. I've come into it. We've we've been learning every game now, so um, taking steps like a stepping stones going going forward and stuff. So, like I say, we've had five games now, and hopefully the sixth game will uh, it'll all come together and uh, we'll get that W.